Pear, um, founded over 30 years ago in Hereford, Texas. It's considered a premium pet food brand. They specialize in high quality dog and cat foods, treats and toppers. You gotta take that term high quality with a grain of salt. Um, it doesn't matter how quality the food is if the food's not balanced. And so um, people will say all the time, well, if a food's balanced, you think you should be able to feed cardboard if they can spray some vitamins and feed cardboard. No, I don't. I just think that you should do, you should look at if a food is balanced first before you go into some of these other things because there's no point in feeding a food if it's not balanced. Like that is the bare minimum in my opinion. The bare minimum is that a food is balanced. From there we start stacking the blocks. We don't, I don't think it makes any sense to look for a food that is high quality just to find out your high quality food isn't even balanced. So that's what I'm saying and I think I agree with a lot of people in it, in that, in the comment sections that come for me, they just don't realize we are looking for the same thing. I am just trying to help you streamline your process because everybody, everybody, everybody is always telling me how confused they are. And I am trying to make it less confusing. If you start out with a food that is balanced, then you can start easily adding things in versus the other way around. Do all this research, find all these ingredients, find all these companies you feel comfortable with just to find out in the end all that work was not was for not because the food's not balanced and then you guys get mad at me. So I think we all agree we want a balanced food that is nutritious as, you know, for the best price point as possible within our budget. I think we all agree on that. Um, I'm just suggesting to you what I feel is an easier method. And so they use that term high quality. Um, they were acquired by Nestle 